Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to another video review. And right now I have the General Giant Jawas collectible mini bus set from Star Wars. So this is a pretty, I don't want to say an old piece, but let me take a look at the packaging real quick to see what year these came out. Um, so yeah, they're old, 2007. So nine years ago these pieces came out and I've been kind of on the hunt for them. They have been pretty expensive, a lot of um, sellers do price some of these pieces pretty high up there that aren't as rare just because they are older but I guess in a hindsight a lot of the general giant pieces from five six seven plus years ago are rare because nobody sells them and people do love to have these in their collection so I finally found a great price over Christmas and got these on Amazon believe it or not um, I rarely ever buy collectibles on Amazon but once in a blue moon something comes up and a deal comes by that you just cannot pass up and I was able to snag this Jawa minibus set. So before taking a closer look at the figures or the pieces I should say let's take a quick look at the packaging I have right here. So you can see they have the window, the two windows for each um, Jawa, you know one Jawa would be here, one Jawa here. We have the Star Wars 30th anniversary logo at the bottom left here, the Star Wars logo and Jawas a collectible minibus at the bottom, and the General Giant logo at the bottom right. The top just shows Star Wars and says Jawas collectible minibus again. We have one of the Jawas on this side, and looking at the other side we have the other Jawa. And here is a picture or a screenshot of two Jawas, um, one who does have the weapon in the minibus and the other one who doesn't have the droid or not, actually we don't ever see the Jawa in the movies actually working on a droid, but let's just assume this guy is the one working on it um, as the minibus depicts. And if you want to pause that and read that, you can do so right now. And that is about it for the packaging. I'm um, just checking the number real quick as well. It does come with a COA, but I'm not going to take that off or out, out of the packaging. And this one is number 4,595 out of 7,000. So 7,000 of these, or at least 6,500 something, are probably in collections, and the rest are just scattered throughout the internet to be sold. So these are instantly one of my favorite um, pieces or sets in my General Giant collection or in my collection as a whole. I'm a huge Jawa fan. Unfortunately, there are not that many Jawa collectibles out there. I'm not sure if Sideshow has ever made a six scale Jawa. It would be pretty small, but I guess if they can make a six scale Yoda, um, it would be fine to make Jawas too. But I know for sure Hot Toys has not yet at least, but I kind of hope they do. But again, I'm not sure if we saw any Jawas in The Force Awakens now that I think about it. I don't remember if we did, but um, because they are making a lot of the older figures anyway that they are, because they just got the Star Wars license not too long ago, I do hope they make a Jawa set. But, you know, now that I think about it, I'm kind of going back and forth. For some reason, I remember Hot Toys having a Jawa set at Comic-Con, but I could be wrong, but... I'll take a look at the galleries I have um, from San Diego Comic Con and maybe there is one, maybe I'm thinking of another set, but anywho, I'd love to have it, you know, if there is one or when they do come out. So these two actually do have light up eyes as well. Um, I believe this one, yeah. If you can see, this one does have the eyes turned on and unfortunately the batteries died on this guy and they are the batteries that, the little silver batteries that nobody ever has, so I haven't had a chance to go buy those. But you can see even in um, daylight, they are pretty bright. You can see them, but at certain angles like here, they're not so bright during the day. Let me turn off the lights real quick and we can get a better look. So I went ahead and turned off the lights and closed one of the blinds. Um, it's still not that great to see. Um, they, they aren't very bright lights, but granted, I don't think these batteries have ever been changed, let alone these bus were ever taken out of the package since, you know, being in whoever seller's hands but you can kind of see them a little bit better here and they are pretty bright and within the mask you know it's just a the black face mask if you want to say because we never really do see the Jawas faces and then here you can see it without the lights you can kind of make out the globes for the eyeballs and the mask as well and both of these are pretty light um, this one just has some weight to it because of the droid head but that's about it they do feel hollow I know there was a period where 
Most of General Giant's pieces felt a lot lighter because they were pretty hollow. And I'm pretty sure these are hollow unless the material used is just crazy light. But um, they do feel hollow for that. Getting a closer look for these as well. And the lighting doesn't look too bad, so I'll just leave the lights off here as well. He has the, um, the stun gun, the stun blaster. I'm not sure what these are called exactly. But nice wood finish to it, nice paint, the weathered look to it as well. And the hand does actually was detached in the packaging so you can fit it in there. And they just slide in um, with little pegs on each side. We do have the uh, bandolier or the satchels, pockets, whatever you want to call them, um, running across the chest. You can make it out on both of them as well. The brown is just, you know, it's, it's an exceptional coloring to it. They did a great job. You can see all the weathering on the patches or the pouches and the belt um, and even on the cloak itself and the hood. Just a really great job with it. And overall, the sculpt is amazing too. It's such a, I like to say a lot of times that these pieces have such a simple design to it, but a lot of companies can really screw it up, case in point. The Power of the Force Jawas that we got, what the hell were those all about? Um, but you know, these are just exceptional quality. They And again, they're light, so you don't have to worry about them being heavy on a shelf. And overall, the paint and even the texture of it, you can feel how smooth or how not smooth it is to give it that realistic look for it. And just a really cool piece to have. Um, and this one, it I was kind of it was kind of interesting to see as well. This one does have the um, number on it, 4,000, was that 4,000 or 5,000? Yeah, 4,595, but this one doesn't. It only says limited edition of 7,000, which I don't know why they didn't just put the same base, which I mean, no big deal, but just interesting to see that. So let me turn off the lights on this guy. There we go. And take a look at him. You can see he has a tool working on the droid, the astromech droid's head. And wow, the interior of this, General Giant did not skip any detail in this. You can see all the wiring, all the inner workings of this. It is just pretty wicked cool. Yeah, there's a nice shot of everything inside. All the wiring and everything is just hand painted and just absolutely incredible. And that's really cool. You can see the weathering on the um, tool as well, kind of the darker silver to it. And you can see him peering into the head and looking at the top. I want to say maybe this is red that was uh, that blew the circuit when Luke was going to buy him. So that'd actually be pretty funny if that was. Let me, you know what? Let me take a reread of that bio. Does it say anything? No, no mention of their. Um, of this specific droid or the tool being used or anything, but pretty sure this is red that Luke turned away because he had a short circuit. But that's pretty cool. We see the nice silver coin designs here, the silver rim on the interior, and the weathering all over. Just a really cool design. And again, just so simple but so effectively made and done. And here's another pouch on the side. And that's about it, y'all. So just a quick, simple review of an older piece that um, maybe some of you have, maybe some of you don't. It is new to my collection. Very happy to have it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on my pages. Thank you again for watching, and stay tuned for the next video.